Welcome back to The Law Factor Live. Well, I'm sitting with a fantastic gentleman, and you're going to see for yourself. He's starting to love because he knows he's just a wonderful person. I have Lewis Magic Hour with us on the, on the couch, and I wish I was sitting next to you. I mean, look at you. you. You look wonderful. Well, thank you so much. And I wish I was dressed in what you produce as well. They're just super, But you look super fantastic. Elegant. You look very Caribbean. But you're such a gentleman. And I love it. Well, I am Caribbean. I absolutely you know? love it. I, I, and I hope that when you go home, you will tell everyone how beautiful St. Lucia is, right? It is amazing. It's one so of the best experiences in my life ever, wow. honestly. It's your first time here? It's my first time. I hope it's not the last one. It better not fantastic. be. It better not be because <laughs> you've got so much that you can share with us. And I was talking to Joycey earlier and asking whether if we had any designers who wanted to meet with you, whether you are approachable. But I mean, that's a silly I question super now, approachable. right? I can tell. <laughs> I can tell. But, um, Lewis, tell us a little about you. Well, um, I've been designing for 26 years. Uh, I'm the kind of person who, since I was a very little kid, I already knew what I wanted to do in my life. And when I reached that age, like a 17 or 18, and you have to go to the university, uh, I was trying to pursue fashion. And then my parents, especially my mother, told me, sorry, you need to have a degree first, and then you pursue whatever you want to do it. So I went to the university to study sociology. And of course, I didn't finish. I mean, I, I did the coursework, mm -hmm. and I never graduated, because it's, this is when I discovered fashion. And I discovered fashion in Paris, France. I went to, the, I, I went to Fashion Week in Paris, and that was it. I, when I saw the runway and everything, I knew it. That was my call. And it was very happy, because I saw that the fashion world was ruled by men. And it never occurred to me. It never occurred to me. So I was like, a, oh, my God, this is what I really want to do. I want to dictate what people is going to be wearing for the next season. And that was it. But how do you start doing that? You have that feeling. And it's not an easy thing to just get into it. How did well, you? Well, if you are a kid from South America, you know, uh, I was born. I grew up in Peru, South America. It's a little bit difficult because, you know, men supposed to be an attorney, a doctor, a lawyer, or whatever, you know, just go to the military or something, right? Or open a restaurant. But fashion designer, that wasn't a stigma. And thank God I broke that stigma at a very young age. And now we have amazing designers in the country. And uh, I was one of the first ones, you know? And I never got the opposition of my family because they always believed in me and they always uh, pushed me to do my best. But uh, society sometimes is kind of difficult, you know, and uh, I, I had hard moments, I guess, trying to explain myself, trying to explain that I'm a fashion designer and I can design outfits for women, I can design suits for men, I want to create beauty, I want to be surrounded by beautiful things, and fashion is a beautiful thing to be surrounded with. Mm -hmm. It's like a inspire your creativity, it's like a living a fantasy world. 24 7 hey yeah, but that's and how they pay you on top of that yeah but that's how you feel because that's where yeah. your passion is but how do you feel when people think that fashion is just a hobby really and they don't understand <laughs> why designers how do i feel mm. um i don't feel bad mm -hmm. i don't really care because they need to educate themselves so uh, i feel great actually because as a fashion designer for so many years i had the opportunity to uh, teach this career as a career, right? And I told them fashion has a good parts and bad parts, but uh, the good parts are the best ones <laughs> to me. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to educate people, and actually, people need to educate themselves. Okay, well, you know is, that's a, that's a good way to end this uh, this segment of the show. But when we come back, we're going to see some of his designs, and then you'll understand why I'm so in awe of this gentleman. <laughs> see you soon. <laughs>